Hi friend, this is Pastor Lucas Spina and this is our snack for the journey. <clears throat> and we are in a journey through the book of Psalms and we are almost at the end of this journey. We're in the last chapter in the book of Psalms. No, not the last chapter, the chapter before the last one. But uh, that is the journey and I'd like you to take this journey with us, find the psalm that you like and, and check the other psalms uh, and, uh, and the idea is to bless you, to bless you, to encourage you in your spiritual journey. And I'd like to encourage you also to subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends and family and help us to bless other people. So let's take a look in the verse for today. We, we, it's more than one verse. I think that this is the, the most, the, the group of verses that, uh, the, 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 the largest group that I, I, I did. I, I don't think that I, I shared that before. So many verses in one meditation, but it's important because it's an it's a important paragraph. It's, a, it's a Psalm 149, starting the verse 6, and we're going all the way to verse 9. Can you believe that? Yes. So let's see if I can do this here. But it's a convocation to praise again. The, the, the end of the, the book of Psalms is a call to worship, to praise the Lord, to praise the Lord. So let's see the, the verse here. May the, may the praise of God be in their mouths and the, and the double-edged sword in their hands. We'll be back here. To inflict vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples to bind their kings with feathers, their nobles with shackles of iron, to carry out the sentence written against them. This is the glory of all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And it's, it's a very powerful message. And it's interesting because this is part of the convocation to worship and to praise, 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 be, may, may the praise of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands. It's interesting because in the New Testament, the, the scriptures is, 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 is described like this, it's a double-edged sword. And, and then Jesus is described that uh, in the Revelation that as a sword coming out of his mouth is a, is, a, is, a, is a description of the scripture and it's interesting because this is the work this 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 psalm here is describing the work of the faithful the work of the faithful our work your work my work what is the, our work is to is to conquer the world that's it that's it we're going to praise the lord and we're going to keep fighting with the sword, with the word of God, with the word of God, and we're conquering the world. We're conquering leaders, we're conquering countries, people, nations, everybody. We, are, we have a work to do, and that work, it's not done yet. Don't think that is, and probably it's not going to be done in our generation. We need to understand that. But even though we have a work to do, you have a work to do, I have a work to do. We pray, we preach, we proclaim the good news, we share the word of God with people, and we conquer people to God. And it's very important we do that with the, with the, with the scriptures. So we praise the Lord and we fight this world. And it's a, it's a beautiful psalm because it's, it's yes, it's not, we, the Christian is not supposed just to meet once in a while or every Sunday to worship and this is it. No, we have a work to do. And our work is to conquer the world. That's the work. It's your work, it's my work. And we have to do that. And we're going to do that through the word, not through violence, not killing people. That's not the point. It's through the word of God. The double-edged sword that we have in our hands. The message of the gospel. Paul says it's the power of God for the salvation. 
is the power of God. That is the instrument, that is the, that is the, 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 the sword that we use. The sword that we use. Paul will say that in, the, in Ephesians when he talk about the, 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 the armor of God. He said the only uh, offensive uh, weapon there is the Word of God. The Word of God. And it's very important for us to understand that. We have a work to do. A lot of work to do. So, let's do it. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.